Hello everyone, my name is Joy Gunoche, Nigeria midwife, UK midwife, and for now, let's put a, a comma there. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a midwife, I'm a registered nurse as well, but I'm currently practicing as a midwife here in the UK. I'm just here to talk about the process, the step-by-step -step process it took me to, you know, migrate from Nigeria to the UK as a midwife. Um, so the first thing was, um, first and foremost was getting my international passport and I did that in 2018. Yeah. And as at that time, I don't think I wasn't planning to come to the UK then. I think I was sort of, you know, wanting to go to the US then at that time, but I just did it, kept it in my files and then forgot about it and continued working and, and I was schooling then I was trying to get my BSc done because I felt, um, to be able to travel out, you need your um, BSc degree, but that's a big lie. You don't need it. So it's just the, you just need your diploma, which is um, registered midwifery certificate or registered nursing certificate. So um, I got my international passport in um, 2018, August to be precise. And then in um, 2021, May 2021, I started my nursing and midwifery council of Nigeria verification. Um, I did my NMC and verification and then I opened my NMC portal, that is NMC UK um, online portal. And then I uploaded my documents and that was like the easiest process, like the easiest step in the whole process. <laughs> we are going somewhere. <laughs> so um, after doing that, I I registered for my IELTS exams. I, I sat for the exams and then I wrote it by first first sitting. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> like seriously, it was so, so surprising for me. I was rolling on the floor, like rolling on the hospital floor at that time because I was at work when the result came out and I was so surprised because I didn't expect that from myself. Coupled with the fact that, you know, I was, um, at that time I was doing two school programs, like my BSc program and then doing my RN program as well. And then I was um, um, working in two different hospitals. One was permanent night shift and the other one I go when I'm, no, when I'm not in school. Like it was such a hectic time for me. And then I was preparing for four exams, like four exams, um, my BSc and program exam, my nursing, like nursing council, because that time we were about doing them um, hospital final and then nursing council exams. So I was preparing for those two and then I was doing, preparing for my, I think it was that period we were back going for the psychiatric exam. So that was the time that I wrote the exam. So we're about going for the psychiatric posting, rather psychiatric posting in nursing um, schools. So um, I was doing that, doing my psychiatric posting exams, my IELTS, my school of nursing exams, and then my what's it called school of nursing hospital final exams then preparing for nursing council and then my bsc program we're having our second semester exams so there about then so it was a whole lot of exams for me my dear <laughs> it was a whole lot so i was really really proud of myself for passing that um ielts exams like i was almost registering for it again after writing it because i felt i don't know I, i'm not sure i read to my satisfaction or I didn't have time. I, it only took me two weeks. Like I took two weeks out of my time to prepare for this exam. So I wasn't sure, sure of myself, to be fair. And um, when that was over, I had to, you know, the next step was to um, register for my CVT. Ooh, Ray, this was the Baba of the Babas, the one that shook me by the Kiyomi. <laughs> so, um, you know, when you do your NMC verification, like you uh, open your NMC portal, finish your NMC verification, Pearson View will send you a link for you to register for your CVT. So it was that link that I used to register for my CVT exams. Um, I'm going to attach the the um um as the link to register for to open NMC portal and register do your NMC online registration. I'm going to attach it to this video as well in case anybody needs it. Um, so I registered for my CVT exam. That was in August. My IELTS was in June 2021. Then my um I wrote my first um CBT um attempt in um August. Yeah, August 2021. I failed it. Wrote the second one. I failed it. Third one. 
God's grace saw me through because I don't think <laughs> I don't think it was my power I passed it. Although I would say I was um I was preparing with the wrong materials the first time because I think I was reading nursing materials whereas I was sitting for a, a middle free exam. So it was I would I would blame the first I would blame that on the first attempt like on me failing the first attempt but the second one I have no excuse I know I was still preparing for my nursing council exams then I was still working in the two places and work was hectic reading was stressful and all of that but I don't know I was just so devastated when I felt it I was really devastated I felt really sad and um took the third one I was at this time I was giving up like almost giving up I was like if I don't get it this time around I'm not going to try again I probably would just hold on for a while and complete my BSc program and all this bits you know and um as God would have it I passed that and then um after passing my CBT exams I had to intensify my efforts in job applications because at this point when i was preparing for my cbt and all the other things i was also you know applying for jobs little by little but after passing my cbt i had to intensify my efforts um applying for jobs like 20 job applications a day and like making sure i get up to 20 and i can even get more than that like i can apply more than that but 20 was like a minimum for me just so i could you know get because you have to keep doing things like this you have to keep doing it like this for you to be able to get a, a job offer soon because you don't just apply for one and then you sit down and wait for that one to call you for an interview because they are definitely not going to call you you will receive series of unfortunate message like series and see like many unfortunately so we cover your list you get tired at some point so um i think i passed my um third attempt of cbt in september or october i, I can't remember but after that um um i got a, my first interview my first job interview i think it was november 2021 and i got it from northwest anglia i was super excited like that was my very first job interview i was over the moon and <laughs> guess what it was advanced seven job offer it was advanced seven job offer for labor was coordinator who i be where they do coordinator as you know i failed it now like i didn't pass the interview because I don't have the necessary skills to be a coordinator. I don't I never even do midwifery finish, like do normally but what midwife finish now coordinator or coordinator. <laughs> so I didn't pass it. Um I kept on applying. I I kept on applying, I didn't lose my faith on it. And um I got another job interview from the same trust, um, not West Anglia um NHS Foundation Trust. I think still within the same month i can't remember but um this one was a band six job offer and so it's so for a rotational midwife and i passed the interview at that time because they even recognized me when we were doing the interview they were like oh is this joy your joy like we interviewed you the first i was like yes yes please <laughs> please give me a job <laughs> please i need a job from you and i i actually passed the interview but um i ended up not going with them again because um during the process of submitting documents and all the rest, I I lost access to my email account. Like I lost access to my Gmail account um a few months later, like two months later or so. And so I couldn't I couldn't I wasn't able to contact them again and I couldn't open a new one to contact because they would not accept it. So I had to I had to go with my other job because I, after them, I actually started having more job interviews, more job offers and other. I think in total, I was having like four job offers before I came to the UK. Um, So I, yeah, I got other job offers and then I had to create a new email account and went to the, the other one, my current hospital now. Um, I went with them. So um, after passing the interview, and um, we started with um you know document and verification like submitting documents to them and then doing my tb test um at the iom center i did mine in abuja and um tb test um then 
they will the trust will not give you your certificate of sponsorship as after you pass interview and after they've done the you know document verifications and all of that so they'll give you your certificate of sponsorship so with that you'll be able to apply for your um visa and um so i use my cos to apply for my visa and then I book um the trust book my flight for me to some book there some book your flight for you why some tell you to book it and they will refund you when you come over to the uk but mine booked my own straight away and um it was a long process so it's a story for another day so you book the flight and um they dropped you again in the uk like deliver straight ahead <laughs> And that was it that's just all about the process to be fair it's a very 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 sweet fascinating yet difficult process like it's it takes it takes a lot of energy it takes a lot of strength it takes a lot of perseverance like faith you 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 get to this stage where you're almost giving up but then you have to keep on trying because um you don't know like if you don't keep on trying you just waste all the previous efforts you've been putting in so at some point you tend to want to give up just keep trying keep trying remember the reason you started the whole process and god will see us through and <laughs> would conquer it so that's all about it if you have any questions for me do drop it in the comment section and um thank you See you next time. Bye-bye. And don't forget to subscribe, please. <laughs> All right. Take care now. Bye.